Everybody, I want to welcome you back to another quick tie. My name is Tim Hepworth here with Fly Fishing Boulder Outfitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying. And we want to thank Rocky Mountain Fly Shop for sponsoring and bringing this quick tie to you guys today. Um, today we are going through this guy here, the Coffin Fly. A nice Mayfly, larger Mayfly imitation fly. Um, I'm tying this out of my Season 5 kit, Episode 15. Um, if you still want to grab yourself a kit, you can still do that. Head on over to our website, you see there on the screen and you can grab yourself a kit today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Um, hit that little bell, it'll let you know every uh, time we put post up another fly from the previous week's um, episode. Okay, well, let's head on over to our vices and let's get rolling. So you can see the fly here. Um, this is, color is tied as a, um, a PMD or a lighter colored Cahill possibly. Um, we're gonna be using a yellow hackle and a very light colored Kind of a light yellow colored um, dubbing for this fly. So we're tying this <clears throat> on a size 12 partridge H1A hook. It's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna be tying with uh, some UTC. This is just 70 in white. I'm gonna go ahead and start my thread just behind the eye of the hook. I will snip out that tag end. First material we're gonna go ahead and put on this fly is gonna be a piece of mallard flank. Okay, so we're gonna be tying in a piece of mallard flank uh, that's gonna be our tail. So how we decide how much we grab is really um, just a feel, a feel thing. I don't want a super, super prominent tail. I don't want a ton of fibers, but I'm gonna pick down till I can see um, some really good modeling on the feather. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself a portion of it. When you pull it off, you can see it in your hand um, and tell kind of a decent sized tail. So I've got a little clump in my hands like so. Looking at it like this, I like that. It seems like a good, it's probably like six to eight little pieces of off that feather. I'm gonna measure myself a tail that's just shy of the overall length of the hook. I will switch my hands over and I'm gonna tie this in right up in the middle of the hook and I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna keep it right on top of that hook shank as I go back and down the fly. But I don't wanna go into the bend of the hook. Okay, so I wanna make sure that it's gonna stay up and level. If I go too far, it's gonna take that tail and cause it to curve down. So now I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna trim out these tail fibers. And now we have probably the most challenging portion of this fly, which is gonna be tying in our wings. So what we've got for you guys in your kits is a whole bunch of these little black feathers. We're gonna be tying in a dark wing. You can see it there. Um, what I want you to do is grab two of them. Uh, I've got two right here. I'm gonna actually marry them together. So I'm gonna take both of the, I'm wearing the wrong color sweater for this today. I'm gonna take both of those, I'm gonna marry them, put them together so that um, their tips kind of match up in length. Like so, so if you can see, I've matched them like that. I like how they splay out to the sides, that's how I want them to be. And now when I go ahead and tie these in, I'm gonna lay them right down the hook shank and I'm gonna tie them in together. But I wanna make sure those tips are perfectly matched. I'm gonna again measure a, um, a wing that's gonna stand just shy of the overall length of that hook is what I'm gonna have it uh, for a length. I'm gonna bring it forward so that my thread is sitting about that quarter way mark, a quarter of the way back down the hook shank. I'm gonna set it right there and I'm gonna take some thread wraps, spin my bobbin back towards my hand that'll cause it to jump rearward. And right when I tie it in, I'm gonna pinch down on it. I take a couple more thread wraps down and I'm just gonna take my finger quick and push those up and I'm just gonna kind of gauge the overall height of my wing, which I like that. It's gonna be pretty good right there. So I'm gonna come, take a few more thread wraps back down and then I'm gonna trim these feathers out at a bit of an angle. We'll taper it down a little bit. We can, we can taper better with a thread here in a moment as well. I'm gonna bring my thread back up. I'm gonna take a couple more wraps up on top of that wing and then I'm gonna pull it straight up and I'm gonna drive some thread wraps right in front of it. So I'm basically sandwiching it so I can force it to stand straight up. And now you're gonna have a few of these fibers that come off the feather that aren't actually part of the wing. So go ahead and you can get those out as you need to. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my scissors down between just the point of my scissors and kind of splay those out a little bit. I'm gonna take a, a thread wrap actually right between them. That's gonna aid in keeping them separated. Now, if I show these to you, you can see, oh, there we go, from the top side. You can see how they splayed out like a wing. That's how I want them to be. And I'm gonna drive just a couple more thread wraps in front because I want it to stand up just a little bit more. That's a little better. Making sure they're still splayed out. 
It's perfect, okay? So that's gonna be all the issue we have with the wing. Now I'm gonna come back down, work over top where those butts are, and just even out, smooth out, cover up any of that black thread, or sorry, that black feather, and I'm gonna bring my thread all the way back to where I tied in my tail. And at this point, back here, we're gonna start applying some dubbing. Okay, so go over to that pile, big pile of dubbing we gave you, which is enough, about enough for a thousand flies. Um, I'm gonna come in there and just start taking some little clumps off, and I'm gonna be making a dubbing noodle, okay? I want a fairly tightly spun dubbing noodle, like so, okay, fairly, fairly tight. Slide it up, grab a little bit more. We can always add some more or take some off if we need to. So don't worry about that. People always try to build the perfect tapered um, dubbing noodle when in reality we can always just add or take some take some off or whatever we need to do. So I'm happy with, with how much I have on there right now. So I'm gonna take a few thread wraps till I get my dubbing to the hook shank right here. And now I'm gonna start doing some touching wraps. Forward up the fly. I'm just gonna start building a little bit of bulk so it appears to have a taper as we move up. So just meaning we have it's a little thinner at the back and it gains a little bit of size as it comes up. Which I'm happy I like that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I'm gonna take that dubbing a little further forward and then we're gonna tie in our hackle. I'm gonna take just a little bit more here. And we will tie a little bit more in maintaining kind of that same taper right up to there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and grab my hackle, which we have this nice yellow hackle for you here. So let's go ahead and find the back end of it. And we will tie this in. I'm just gonna peel a little bit back off of the stem of the fly. So I'm exposing the stem so I can tie it in. I want the underside of the fly pointed back and down the hook shank. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna tie it in just behind the wing. So I'm gonna take a thread wrap behind it, take a thread wrap in front of it, and repeat that process. And I really wanna drive some nice thread wraps into there. We can fix our wing here in a moment, but what's important about this is I really need this hackle not to move on me once I've tied it in and I start to wrap it. So I've got it to there now, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out that tag part of the stem and I can come back in here and make sure my wings are standing up where I want them to be. And then I'm just gonna go back and for a little extra security, make sure that's secured. Now what I like to do for me is I like to add just a smidge, just enough to cover my thread worth of dubbing onto the hook shank, or sorry, <laughs> hook shank, onto my thread. And I'm gonna put this just underneath where my hackle is gonna go. Gives it a little bit more to bite into and I'm gonna take this all the way forward to the eye. And once I get there, I can strip off any of the extra. Like so. And I'll trim out that little bit that's hanging up without trimming out my wing. Okay. And now all I gotta do now is bring my hackle forward. I'm gonna take a couple of wraps behind those wings. No more than three, I would say. Then I'll pull those wings back. I'll get in front of them. And I'm gonna do another two, maximum of three. Then I'm gonna tie that off, so I need to get my thread behind it, and then in front. And while leaving that there, I'm gonna grab my half hitch tool. I'm gonna to half hitch this fly right here to finish. So I slide it over the top, I can push some of those fibers back and out of the way. And that's why I like this half hitch tool to finish off these dry flies. So I'll do a couple of those. I'll get my stem out. like so. I can come in here and trim out my thread. Being trying not to cut too much else. What I'll do for you here is I will show you that fly against my hand because it's easier to see in color. So we should have that nice wing that's standing up for us. Okay, looks nice. You can see that little division in the wing. And then we have a nice hackle down that nice lightly colored mayfly. Um, great attractor pattern for any of the light bugs you might see out on the water. This is the coffin fly. Um, lots of variations you can do with this. Change up the, the color a little bit. Change your wing color. Do whatever you like with it. But guarantee you, it's gonna get you some fish. 
Again, guys, it's Tim Hepworth here with Fly Fishing Board Real Fitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying. Thank you for uh, following along today on this quick tie. Like and subscribe to this video, and uh, we'll see you next week when we have another fly for you.